Well, there's a growing problem with shopping carts going missing. Businesses across the valley are struggling to keep them on site. Team 12's Jade Cunningham looked into the problem and has more on why this shines a light on a much bigger issue. Whether left on a sidewalk or neighborhood, shopping carts are popping up all over. Stores are really having a, a difficult time, in some cases, getting enough shopping carts to meet their demands at high traffic times. Mark Miller is the Arizona Food Marketing Alliance president. He says there's always been a problem with missing carts, but lately more are being taken. It's usually not associated with one particular retailer. It goes across the board for an area. One area is Sunny Slope in Phoenix, where so many carts have disappeared, Retrieval efforts are now happening twice a day. We've added more drivers uh, to be able to go more frequently to get the, sh the shopping carts back because it's very difficult to go to a grocery store if you don't have a shopping cart. There are two possible reasons behind this problem. One is lack of transportation, so people push them to bus stops or nearby apartments. The other is the rise in homelessness seen across the valley. We take it for granted we have our vehicles, we have our homes, so we don't have to carry our belongings with us. Jim Baker is the St. Vincent de Paul Dining Rooms program manager. He says people taking shopping carts is a problem, but for the past few years, they've tried to help. We will help folks get out of a shopping cart. If they come here with a cart, we'll try to get them a rollaway luggage or something, some other type of cart if they have a bicycle, a bicycle cart. The carts then go back where they belong. It does help, and Miller says they too are working hard and will continue to work hard to remedy it. Our members have spent a lot of money to keep the carts working properly with new wheels and repairs, and, and we've helped them. But we're fine. Uh, replacing the lost carts is becoming very difficult, and it doesn't seem to be showing any signs of improvement in the near future. Jay Cunningham, 12 News.